Welcome to the de Havilland Aircraft Museum. In this video we are going to talk about prototype aircraft. In particular we will be looking at this unique aircraft, the original prototype de Havilland DH-98 Mosquito. When a manufacturer like de Havilland designs a new aircraft, one major task is to build the first prototype. The prototype will be the first flying example. It will be used to verify the design. Does the plane fly as fast as intended? How high can it fly? Are there issues with taking off or landing? Can it perform in the way the designers expected? So experienced pilots are employed to test fly the prototype. They gradually expand the flight envelope until they are satisfied that the plane is ready. The test pilot's experience usually results in some minor design changes. Only then can the company start up the factories to build the production aircraft. When the prototype has finished its job, it is usually of no further use, so it would be scrapped. In the case of this DH-98 Mosquito prototype, it was intended to be burned, but we are very grateful for the fact that this did not happen. So we have the original Mosquito prototype preserved here at the de Havilland Aircraft Museum. Not only that, we have two other production Mosquitoes, an FB Mark VI fighter bomber and a late Mark B-35 bomber. This gives museum visitors a unique opportunity to compare the prototype with production aircraft and see the differences close up for themselves. The most obvious difference is the colour. In those days, a prototype aircraft was painted yellow for ease of identification. As you can see, this one still sports its bright yellow paint on the undersides and the big letter P also emphasises its status as a prototype. On the other hand, production aircraft in wartime were painted in various colours to camouflage them. If you look at the leading edge of the wings of the prototype, you will see these prominent leading edge slats. When the designers did their calculations, they predicted that the Mosquito wing had a risk of stalling under certain low speed conditions. Leading edge slats are a standard way of addressing this. They force the airflow over the wing to prevent stalling. But when they tested the prototype, pilots discovered that this was not an issue, so they covered over the slats. If you look at the leading edge wings of production Mosquitoes, they don't have slats. So the production testing resulted in a design change and saved a bit of unnecessary extra work when the Mosquito entered production. Let's have a look at the engine nacelles of the prototype. First you have the engines themselves. Behind them is the space for the undercarriage wheels to retract into. And that is all that is required. But if you look closely, you can see some additional panels have been added later on. These panels extended all the way back beyond the trailing edge of the wing. Why? The answer is that during prototype testing, the pilots discovered that there was some unpleasant buffering at certain speeds. As they investigated further, they proved that these extra panels could resolve the problem. The panels extended back beyond where the trailing edge flaps had been, so they had to redesign the flaps as well. If you look at either of the two production mosquitoes in the museum, you will see these design changes. So the prototype testing meant that the production aircraft was safer to fly. If you look at the port side of the prototype, you will notice that there's an obvious temporary patch on the fuselage just aft of the wing. This was added in order to address a weakness in the fuselage that was identified during testing. In fact, problems with the fuselage strength even required the replacement of the entire fuselage of an early stage in the life of the prototype. How did they go about addressing this weakness? If you go around to the other side of the prototype, you will notice an obvious strengthening fitting, a strake, which extends from the near the leading edge of the wing towards the tailplane. This strake addressed the weakness of the fuselage. On production mosquitoes, you can clearly see this same design feature. Once again, the prototype testing had resulted in an improved design. 
At the de Havilland Aircraft Museum, we have identified these, as well as a number of other significant changes, between the first Mosquito prototype and the production aeroplanes. At the museum, you can see the full visual catalogue of all these changes. See if you can spot them all for yourself when you visit us. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel so that you can watch further videos like this when we publish them. See you at the museum.